Hey everyone, it's Trey's here, back again with another Beat Refinery DJ City Ableton Live tutorial. And today we're going to do a quick look at acapella in and out edits in Ableton Live for your DJ sets. So let's get started. For my example in this video, I'm just going to use a pretty classic song, Hypnotize by Biggie. We're going to do acapella in from the hook right into the first verse. Classic song, everything starts on the one really easy example to show you. So we're going to drag these into Ableton Live. I'm just going to highlight both of them. Click and drag. Alt-Tab. Go to Live. When you drop them into the session, uh, cool little trick, if you hold down Command, it creates a new track for the second file, which is helpful. So there we go. We got both tracks in there. Um, <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do is set up Hypnotize. And we're going to quantize this because it's not exactly 94 BPM, it's 93.91. And when I set things quantized, especially like simple projects like this, I like to just match the global tempo to the tempo of the clip and then do my warping from there. That way I don't have to do any time stretching. So it's pretty easy that way. So we'll go ahead and zoom in here. Set this start arrow right there on the 1. And then we'll play this back, test it out. Oh, oh. Go ahead and mute that acapella track. Label these real quick. All right. So we're going to kind of skim through this and make sure it's set on the grid perfectly. Yeah, everything looks good so far. Everything's matching up with the metronome. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn warp on for this clip. And then I'm going to set this to a whole number just to kind of fix it perfect it to 94 so everything's good to go there all right now i want to find the exact point where i want to drop into the song after the acapella which is going to be on the first verse which is right here on bar three so we're just going to make a split here command e split and i'll delete that first clip which i don't need <clears throat> now i'm going to drag this over to bar nine so I have a full kind of blank eight bars to work with here to drop my acapella in. At that point, now I'm going to find the point at which I want to drop the acapella in to create my edit. So I want to use the hook. So we're going to mute the song track and activate the acapella track. And I just want to find the hook, which is right here. Kind of zoom in on that. And I'm going to turn the grid off for a second. So... Command 4 is a shortcut for that, and we'll click right here. Biggie, 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 biggie. And we just want to start on Biggie, so when Pam says Biggie, that's the one. We're going to make a split there, Command E to make a split. Delete the first part of the clip, which I don't need. Then we're going to cut this, Command X. We're going to come down to the beginning and paste it. Now I'm going to have to stretch this a little bit, because it's not exactly 94 again. So we know we're starting on the one. I have the clip dragged over to the first one beat of the session and turn the grid back on, command four. And then metronome still on, so we're gonna play this back and see exactly where I have to stretch it. Biggie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. And I just love your flashy ways. Uh, guess that's why they're broken, you're so paid. So we're just gonna use the first half of the hook and double it, because on the second half, Biggie has a lot of ad-libs, which I don't want to use. So <clears throat> I'm going to make a split here, the second half, and delete that. And then we're just going to play with the first half to start. So first thing I'm going to do is warp this clip to lock it onto the beat grid. And then I'm going to find where she says Biggie the second time and just stretch that outside of the clip. So here's where she says Biggie. And then we'll double click here and add a marker and drag that out of the clip. Now if you look at the arrangement, there's still a little bit of remnant of where she starts the next part of the hook. So we're just going to delete that. And there's a drop down menu here in the track for fades automation. So we'll select that and we'll just do a little fade out here. And then we should be good to go as far as time. We'll listen to this again. Biggie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. And I just love your flashy ways. Uh, guess that's why they're broken. Yeah, that You're sounds so really good. I'm, in my edits, I'm 
really particular about like how the lyrics ride the beat, it's important to kind of stick with the original flow of the song. So if it's just slightly off, it's going to sound weird. This sounds really good though. So the other thing I'm noticing here is the acapella volume is quieter than the actual song. I'm going to turn this track back on. So we need to kind of equalize the volume between these two. So first thing we can do is boost the clip gain. So right down here, maybe add like 4 dB. And then another trick to kind of bump uh, acapella vocals through a mix uh, would be to add some compression. Uh, we can use a preset like Gentle Squeeze. It's a pretty good one to add a little more punch to your vocals um, in Ableton Live. So listen to that again. Biggie, 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 can't you see? Yeah, so this sounds a little closer. Now I'm just going to highlight the first four bars, make sure I catch this little bit of silence here too, which is, which is important to add in if we're going to duplicate. So I click there, and I'm going to shift click, highlight the first four bars, and duplicate that, command D. And all of these editing shortcuts are right here on the drop down menu at the top, the menu bar. And then we'll listen to it from the last bar and see how it drops in. Guess is why they're broken, you so pay. So we're getting close. Timing sounds good. These vocals are a little dry, so we want to add some effects just to kind of like spice them up, help them to sound more linked in with the main song. Uh, I already have two return tracks set up with effects. I like to put my effects on return tracks always, just as a good habit. It's always good to bust your effects to a separate track. That way you have some definition between the two and you're not taking away from volume from the, the source. So <clears throat> the first one I have a reverb, which is just like a pretty simple three and a half second reverb. Uh, we're going to add a touch of that right here at the send knob. No automation, just bumping up just a little touch here. And then we're going to add just a touch of delay. The delay is on the second return track I have. Uh, it's got a filter on it, so it's just the high end, and it's set to like half a beat, uh, half feedback. So we're gonna bump that up just a touch, and then we'll take a listen again, see how that sounds. Biggie, 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 biggie. Yeah, that's nice. So biggie, biggie. we are going to Play back from right here, just see how it sounds going into the main part of the track. Guess is why they're broken, you're so paid. Now, optionally, you could run the last bar of the intro like this. Guess is why they're broken, you're so paid. Your choice. It's really a stylistic thing. I'm going to leave it just kind of like contrasted a b you got the acapella and then boom straight into the vocal so when you're djing if you want to cut out the instrumental part that you're layering this over at the end and just highlight that that might be fun and then it kind of just punches hard right there on the one so this is basically ready to save and export to do the acapella out would be just the opposite of this you just choose a part in the song where you want to run acapella out. You make a split, put your acapella on a separate track, run all the same effects. I could even do it here in the same project. I could have an acapella in and acapella out edit. <clears throat> so if I were to find the acapella out part, it would be just another hook. Just right here. So we make a split, delete that. Highlight, copy, paste, and then we'll play it back from here. See how this sounds. That's it. Really easy. Now I have acapella in and acapella out in the same edit. You could split this up into two separate files, two separate projects. Uh, the only other last two little tricks, uh, you're going to want to obviously test this out on some speakers or maybe test it out earlier in the night in the club just to make sure the levels all sound right so your acapella volume matches well with the volume of the track. Um, there's a really cool free plugin that my friend, homie Nick Bike, put me onto. Uh, it's free. It's called Smexascope. 
it's basically a live monitoring plugin and you can listen to your track while it monitors the waveforms and you can kind of see how this I just love your flashy ways guess is why they're broken you're so paid so what's great about this is it's kind of like a, a preview serato test before you even put it into your dj software so if you've been djing with digital software like serato or tractor for a while you're used to looking at waveforms you know how the waveforms look so you can say okay if a if an audio in a waveform looks like this, it's going to sound like that in the club. So you know how to kind of translate looking at it into how it'll sound live. So it's that's like a shortcut here to look at the waveform before you even export it. So you can kind of get your levels closer to what it'll sound like playing it out. So that's a great little free plugin um, to check out and maybe add into your Ableton plugin list. Uh, from there, you know, it's just uh, save and export. So I like to add a little bit of silence at the beginning of each project. So we'll highlight, click from there, go to the end, add a little extra at the end, shift click to highlight the whole project, go to export, good to go. That's basically it for acapella in, acapella out. Really simple edit here in Ableton Live. My name's Trey's. This has been another Beat Refinery DJ City tutorial. Make sure you click like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.